Hey, Warren Eckstein here. This question comes in. It's kind of interesting. Warren, you've expounded on the benefits of using air horns. Might not the noise from it possibly scare the pet, causing it to bolt and get away from its owner and become a victim from the very thing that it's trying to scare off? This comes in from a, a listener, Dan. Well, Dan, it's a valid point, but let me explain a few things to you, okay? Number one, I always advocate that when you take your dog out for a walk, your dog is on a leash and your dog is on a harness and a good type of collar. If you don't want to use a harness, I prefer harnesses. A lot more difficult for a dog to get away that way. But here are the options. You're out taking your dog for a walk. You have a good harness, you have your hand on the lead, and a coyote approaches, or a group of coyotes, or a stray dog from the neighborhood comes up to you, or some crazy people are in the hood and they want to come bother your dog as well. The air horn could be exactly the deterrent you need. Sure, it's going to scare your dog a little bit, but better your dog should be scared than eaten. Better your dog should be scared than something other happening to it. So the bottom line is sometimes you have to, you have to be really conscientious about what you're doing. Now, having been doing this for as many years as I have, I have to tell you that I've got emails, and even before emails, letters from listeners all over the U.S. and Canada saying, you know what, Warren, we're out walking our dog, and some aggressive dog in the neighborhood was off-leash and came towards me. I used the air horn, and the dog took off. Or, Warren, I was walking my dog, and there was a, uh, a couple of coyotes in the neighborhood. You know, I used to live in Sedona, Arizona. When I lived in Sedona, whenever I took the guys out for a walk, which was always, or even when I just went for a hike myself, I'd come across different types of things that might be a little bit dangerous. Now, coyotes usually don't bother people, but sometimes when they're out in the day, you can still see them, and they still come. However, remember this. The air horn can be exactly the deterrent that you need. So why do I have the air horns? Why do I even sell the air horns on my own website, thepetshow.com, for like seven or eight bucks, whatever they sell for, I don't even know. I honestly believe that everyone... Everyone who walks a dog, whether you're attacked by a, a coyotes or, or there's aggressive dogs or, or aggressive people, uh, I give an air horn and my wife Denise carries an air horn when she goes to the shopping mall or goes to the store just for her own protection as well. So to answer your question, let me get back to the beginning. Can it scare the dog you're walking? Of course it can. Of course it can. Now, there are ways to overcome that. You could desensitize your dog to the sound of an air horn, which I've done with my dogs. So when they hear an air horn now, especially the one I use, bottom line is they're not fearful of it. As a matter of fact, they come when they hear it. They think it's a good thing because I rewarded them positively. So you can change that behavior if you want. But again, a lot safer, even if your dog gets a little scared or flustered, as long as it's on a good harness and lead, which I advocate all of the time, I think it's a lot safer to have the air horn. Great question, by the way, Dan. Thanks an awful lot.